I'm here in Ghana with Rocket Mine, and we will do a very interesting project with the Trinity F90 Plus and our new payload, the LiDAR Q240. We will fly 6,000 hectares in about four days. We will do five flights a day. Each is one hour and each flight will cover 350 hectares. We are to fly a project area of about 6,000 hectares and we are doing that in incredibly just 20 flights. Okay, so we're flying five flights a day, 60 minutes each, um, in a 40 degrees Celsius, it feels like 44. Um, there's no problem with any performance of the drone. I've never seen anything, anything perform like it. It's a, it's a beast of a drone. So we prepared for takeoff. Uh, you press the, the single button to start up the lighter. So for for the workflow, after you put on the drone, your lighter should be ready even by the time you are done setting up your takeoff point, your angle of retransition, all of that. Before you, you're done with those, your ladder should be ready and just with a click, your ladder should start logging and it's, it's really accurate. From the results I have seen so far, I am impressed. Yes, the data looks really, really cool. Um, as you might already know, for the area in question, it's um, in Ghana. And there's like really very dense forest uh, vegetation here in Ghana with different species. So what happens is you, you do not just have just one layer of canopy. There are several other hidden layers, about three different layers of canopy in the forest. And from what we've got so far, the ground uh, data looks really, really good. Um, very good sampling, sampling space, all of that. Um, enough to generate our DTMs, our models, all of those, like the profiles, Everything looks super, super good. And this is what we are achieving at um, 100 to 120 meters above, above the, the ground level, which is a really, really uh, uh, interesting achievement. So yeah, good. I would, I'd advise everyone or anyone out there considering um, LiDAR, LiDAR technology, it's, it's sorted out with the Trinity and then the QB240. Last flight. After four days in Ghana and over 20 flights, I headed back to process the data. Here you can see only a small part of the complete mission. This, this here is really a big tree and I will show you in detail in a close-up. Wow, I think this data is absolutely amazing. Now, now if we focus on the road, well you can see a car trying to pass a truck. Isn't that amazing? And please pay attention to all the house roofs in the background. Well, well you can see the palm tree plantation here. And uh, now I'm going to show you terrain model without vegetation. Because with this huge mission, we wanted to find out which villages would be affected by the flooding in the unlikely event of a dam collapse. For a better visualization, I will now just show the points where the laser beam hit the ground. So we can quickly see where the water flow would cause damages and which houses and villages would be in danger. And here we can see the villages and the simulated water flow paths. So here this is in danger and here we can see some, some problems over there. While all these villages around there are absolutely not affected by a possible flooding. So I think these are really great results and if you want to know more about our LiDAR Cube 240, please visit our website. <laughs>